All right, so this is the body of our creeper, and when it folds up, it looks something like that. We're gonna need to add support pieces right here. We have four more two inch by four inch pieces. Got out Lumber's glue. You might question the shiny pieces of two by four inch pieces that we have here. Trust me, you don't need to know. Just gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna find something to put as a small weight on each little section. I'm gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes again. And wait that, that dry. All right, so after about 10 minutes have passed, go ahead and take your weights off. Not going to do anything with those quite yet. I'm going to rotate this around. I'm going to need to find the center point of here. And one of the easiest ways to do that is take a ruler and a sharp pencil and go from one corner to the other corner. Do the same thing with the other corner to corner. So there's the center point. That's going to help us in a second when we start connecting the bottom of the gear system for our head. We're gonna take our headgear piece, we're gonna line that up so that when we look at this directly from above, the center point of that X is right underneath the center point of our head system or our gear system. I think I'm gonna put one finger here to draw a circle there. So we've got our four circles, a pilot hole. Go ahead and drill our holes. We can go ahead and clean those holes out really quick. Go ahead. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna get this piece in directly centered. Putting this piece through right here. Seems like that's good. And our headgear system is in place. All right, so you're gonna take the body of your creeper, just kind of fold it up like this. You want two pieces of tape and some Elmer's glue. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of glue right here and on the inside right there. All right, it's just a bead of glue right there. Fold that in like that. Take one of your pieces of tape. You don't want to get the front door glued on anywhere. You want to make that so that can continue moving. All right, got a bunch of scrap pieces left over. We're gonna cut out a four inch by four inch piece. Thankfully, this piece is already four inches long. Just need to cut it off four inches wide. Four inches right about there. Four inches right about there. Go ahead and put this between those two lines. Go ahead and flip it over. Just gonna go ahead and cut that once or twice. That should just pop out. So, <clears throat> we've got this four by four inch piece. It's gonna go on the top of our creeper head body. First, we've gotta find center point. Doesn't matter which side you use. Corner to corner. Rotate that, do the opposing corners. And right there is our center point. We're gonna drill a small hole here. We'll go ahead and put our pilot hole in using a pen, pencil. So our 5 32nd of an inch drill bit. That looks pretty good. Go ahead and just clear that a little bit more out with the back end of our drill bit. So we gotta go ahead and get this glued onto the other part. Here is the body of our creeper. This is the top part. We've got an axle sticking out from the top of it. And this piece, four inch by four inch piece that you just cut out, is just gonna fit right on there like that. But we wanna glue that down. We don't want to glue the axle. So we're just gonna draw a small circle around this. And the same thing on here. We don't want any glue. 
within that area. Doesn't really have to be super accurate. Elmer's glue, wood glue, spread a little bit on here, spread a little bit on here. Grab a scrap piece and just kind of scrape that around. Just take this, pop it over that center part. You might want to put something on there for, you know, five, ten minutes. Give it a little bit of weight to help secure it. And that's about it.